I'm sitting here with Susan Pasco, the owner and operator of the Bahia restaurant here in Yalapa. Susan, whatever gave you the idea of operating a restaurant in a small, out-of-the-way place like Yalapa? Some strange combination of good fortune and insanity. Um, I've been in the restaurant business for a long time, and I always thought one option was to have a nice little place on a beach somewhere and make simple food and make people happy. So here I am. It was either you know, be rich and famous by the time I was 30 or choose another course. So this is plan B. And it's worked out pretty well. And are you here all year round? Nope, just for the season. The season runs from November through April. I'm here a little bit longer than that, but um, it gets too hot in the summer to bake. And most of my customers are only here for a few months. Um, people who travel in the summer, well, there's not a, there's precious few tourists in the summer, put it that way. And where are you the rest of the time? Wherever I can find a job <laughs> that will pay me some money. Um, I travel, I'm a, I'm a freelance, um, culinary mercenary, I think about it as. So I've spent time in Colorado, California, Cape Cod, um, Albuquerque, various places. So doing this, everything from consulting to catering. So is this sort of like a hobby for you here? Apparently. <laughs> um, one good year we break even. But it allows me to be here for seven months, which I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. When did you first come to Yalapa? This is my seventh year in with my own business. Before that, I worked for four years in various other restaurants in Yalapa, kind of getting the ropes of how things work here, which is not quite the same as how things work in the rest of the world. Do you serve three meals a day or just a couple meals a day? We do breakfast and lunch till three, and then we do snacks and sweets until sunset. We're basically the restaurant at the bus station. Um, we're open from when the first panga leaves to when the last panga gets back. Pongas being the water taxis that run from Yalapa to the big city of Puerto Vallarta. Do you have a website? Um, we do not yet have a website. Um, I've been trying to get a website together for a number of years, and then Facebook came up, and which seems to obviate the name, need for a website. Um, we're on Facebook at Cafe Bahia Yalapa. What's your favorite thing about living in Yalapa? Uh, the community, I have to say. Um, it's pretty tight-knit. Um, less separation between Mexicans and, and Northerners than I've seen elsewhere in Mexico. And people really, he's a people really um, show up for each other. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Jeff.